Welcome back to one of the last episodes of Stressed and Overwhelmed by Her Closet. We are past the stressed and overwhelmed part and now we're moving into the I can breathe deeply, I never want it to get out of order ever again. Today we're finally finishing this space once and for all. We've got all of the uniform hangers we need to swap out. We have more storage boxes and we are going to get everything set with labels so that hopefully it guides Eunice into keeping her closet stress-free forever. And then soon we'll move to the final episode of getting the skincare work closet done. And then we're moving on to the kitchen. We've got a lot of work to do. I hope you guys are ready to roll up your sleeves with me and get to work. Let the final space making begin. Around the house, especially in the skincare room, she asked me, what should I do with the stuff that I don't know where it goes? I said, just leave it, contain it, put it with a note. Let me know what it is so that I know that's like the category that you want to organize with and I'll put it away. But it really helps me if you have that initial organization set up. Golf stuff still exploding. These are things that I actually ordered um, and I think they went ahead and just hung up their hats with them. It looks like she found more hats. We have all of the hangers, fabric storage boxes. We have more skirt hangers. And then these are all the organizers. We might not use them in the closet. Uh, we might, you know, use them in the skincare room, but that is what we got so far. Just for your reference, minus the hangers, but all of the organizers that we've been bringing um, and the storage bins, all of those total about um, a little over $100 so far. All right, I think the most obvious place to start is with the hangers. So these are the pants that I got the hangers for. Can you see how hard that was for this to come off? That's why these pant hangers are just so nice because you're more likely to hang them up when they're so easy like that. If you mix them, this is what happens in the back of the closet. It gets stuck, so it's really hard to take them out. So it's nice to just have all the same. Usually I don't see the velvet hangers broken very often, but I think Eunice might be pretty hard on her hangers. That's why that happens. So I know this might annoy some people, but I just throw all my trash on the floor and then I clean it up afterwards because it keeps me going very quickly. And then it's also very satisfying to clean. So one of the things that's going on in her closet is that she has a lot of these very nice hangers, but then she has all of the things from her dry cleaner, which they have different hangers. So I'm curious how you guys deal with it. If you have any suggestions for somebody who goes to the dry cleaner a lot like Eunice, what would you guys suggest the process be that's really easy, but it keeps those dry cleaner hangers out of the rest of the closet. I think the next thing that would be really helpful is just let's start getting all of this stuff hung up. I'm just not quite sure what we've got going on anymore. And I noticed there's like some golf here and then here's some more pants. So we will put golf back with the golf. These are sweaters. Okay, these don't even go over here. Okay, that is also a sweater. Also a sweater. And more pants that we don't have here. This is a pile of loungewear, I, I think. So I'm gonna move it down there. I think that's a shirt. Okay. All right, if it seasons like I don't know what I'm doing, it's just because I'm trying to figure out what, <laughs> what happened. One of the things that was happening while Eunice was moving this closet here is that she left a lot of stuff at the other house. So she said, I'm going to let go of all of it. But when it came down to it, she just wasn't able to do that. So now we do have some stuff that we need to go back and figure out. I hope we can make space. Hopefully we'll just need to make minor changes to make it work. Pants I'll put here. This is a shirt. Let's just do this. More pants, shirt, 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 shirt. That's a shirt. This one is golf, so I'm going to move it to golf. Ah, 
okay, so this is a skirt. Nope, if they're pants, they're pants. And this is like a dress or something that got put in here. Great, this is one thing that's really great about velvet hangers. You know, shirts like these can be kind of weird and you know, maybe you've left these in there, maybe not. <laughs> I cut them out sometimes because they're annoying, but um, with these hangers, they're less likely to fall down. And if they do, hopefully you have these still intact. But um, I do find that at least better than wire hangers, you can keep, you know, oddly shaped tops like this. So what I'm going to do now that we have everything hung up, I want to work on getting this section organized and we still need to swap over the hangers from here. So first we're going to grab all the extra hangers that she didn't pull out. Like here's two. All right, we got these. Now we're going to go through and swap out the old hangers with the new. Okay, those are all good. We'll keep working this way. Okay, I found a hiding skirt. Aha, we found more doubles. We found another double hanger guy trying to catch a free ride. Okay, now to tackle this pile. Okay, somebody asked me about this, and I'm, maybe you guys already know. If, if you do, let me act like I'm surprising you. If you don't, I'm going to blow your mind. This little guy right here, I think it's actually meant for like structural integrity so that your hangers don't snap. I, I don't know. That's what I'm just thinking. But it's a really great place to put belts or scarves that go with your dress, and you can tuck it in, and it'll stay put right there. Genius. Okay, so this section is done of all the same hangers. I still need to work on that section. I did find a really sturdy plastic hanger. I mean, not terribly sturdy, but it's pretty sturdy. So I thought maybe we could use this for one of the jackets down at the end of the closet. That's too tiny of a space, so enjoy this clip of me trying to muscle my way in there and get all the hangers swapped over. <laughs> For these, I'm going to do double hangers. We have enough. I'm just going to do two hangers. <sighs> we 
get this section good. For some of these, you'll see I doubled the hanger up just to keep them from breaking. Next, we're gonna go ahead and swap out all of these hangers. And then this is the pile that I'm dreading because I don't know how we're gonna be able to make space with all of these whenever we're already pretty packed. Thick leather, I'm gonna do two hangers. Okay, and I don't like these here, so I'm gonna just put those to the side for now. And then we also have all of these underneath. We will put those to the side as well. Yeah, that is better. Feels so good whenever you remove stuff that's like hiding underneath all your clothes. Okay, this section is good. We've got everything organized. I was able to fit all of the sweatshirts right here, so I'm really happy about that. This section, also good. The last thing I need to do is the golf section, which I feel like this might actually be one of the crazier areas. First, I'm just pulling out all the extra hangers. Oh, extra. Next, we're gonna swap out the hangers. So now it's all about reorganizing this. I have all of the hangers swapped out and this section is for golf, but it also needs to be for robes, which he uses those for filming. So I'm thinking we'll put the robes on this end and then we'll organize um, golf over here. And then one thing I did do was use these hangers for golf pants, just because we're out of the other hanger and this is a long space. So we might as well just hang them and then she can see exactly what they are. And she only has a few golf pants. So I thought that would um, work because we have a lot of these hangers instead. We'll put robe here. I think, honestly, I'm not sure what this is. Ah, I think it is a robe. So I'm gonna put it like this. And then I'm gonna do long pants here. And then I think we'll do like uh, out skirts and then shirts white. Okay, I think that will work. Oh, it's a hanger. Again, one reason I like these is because you can turn the little um, hook easily okay this is actually this is my rope but um i put it in the dryer and accidentally shrunk it now the sleeves are like up to here on me and every time i was wearing it i was like why is it so small so i am giving it to her she can use it for a video or something it's a really fun linen robe so i will just squeeze that in here she has a lot of other robes that are really big so i'm thinking we might just leave them stacked. We'll have to put the other rope somewhere else. The next thing I wanna do is work on the storage above. We still have everything in the blue bins from before she moved, but so I was able to get five storage boxes. I think what I'm gonna do is try and use these, replace the blue ones that we have up high. We can use those in other parts of the house and maybe even put some of her sweaters in these boxes and put them up high just for now. Oh, 
that works so well and I kind of like it sticking out over the edge because it's easier to get off perfect this is like winter golf in here okay and look there's even room to grow okay this is perfect this is cool I didn't see this before but there's this little name card so we could write in here and put what it is but I'm thinking it might just be nice with clear tape white tape is more visible but we want to go chic and you know discreet oh no that's black that's white that's not even the one I oh no I only got here with the white tape bummer I'm gonna come tomorrow and before I do the final shot for you guys and replace this but now I'll just leave it where it's easy to pop off and um, I'll come peel it off tomorrow. All right, box empty. Next up we have like winter hats and gloves. Like Feeling these go to a golf hat, so we might pull those out. Good. Put a little label. Another empty. boxes and what I'm thinking is what if we put all of the sweaters in here store them up high I think we can fit all of the sweaters and I don't even think we need to change the folding I'll try and keep the colors together I like this better though because I think it'll protect them you know throughout the season from bugs or anything wow okay perfect all of the color sweaters are in the box. Okay. Ooh. Put let me put these up high and then I will show you guys all the extra space. Oh. Okay, look at that. Does that not look so good? Obviously we'll get better labels after the labels are on oh it's gonna look amazing and i love that they're white your eye just kind of misses them whenever you walk it and like or at least you don't notice them I, now i feel like we're actually getting somewhere let me show you all the space that we made just by moving all of the sweaters out then down here we still have loungewear we need to work with but we have her extra robes for filming then we have all of this space that we can really work with so i think now you know we still have the hats and golf that we need to figure out and loungewear so i think it's going to be time to get into some of our organizers i'm thinking that it's best we start with this golf section here so i'm just going to kind of take everything out so we can figure out what we have i'm not sure what those are okay this is going to be winter golf so i'm going to go ahead and move that down there we have another winter golf that we'll get out and yeah, we have a hat and then some miscellaneous. Okay, these are the hats I didn't know how to organize earlier. Um, we're, I'm still not sure what to do with all of these, so I'm gonna leave those there. Let me show you the best organizing options that I could find. I found these, which I use in my own closet. So these are another option. Currently three in here because they are stuck together. I'll take a little while to get them out. So one thing that's nice is these have a lid. So far, these are my favorite option because we could easily put all three of these right here and have all of her golf stuff extremely organized. Other stackable option I had were the same idea, just smaller, but I think these aren't going to allow us to use the space as much. So what that means is we need the ones that are stuck together. <laughs> oh, okay, there's one, perfect. Oh, come on, you can do it. 
Oh no, yes you can. This is the downside of acrylic organizers. Oh. So sun protection. Ooh, winter glove. We're gonna put those up. More sun stuff, more sun. Mm. These are a different kind of glove. We'll put the ones in the packaging down there. Okay. Glove, glove. And she has a lot of like sun patches too, so I thought we could put those in there. Headband, I think that could go in here. Golf socks. Okay, so this is what we were able to do here. I'm gonna throw some label on the labels on these soon. We have all of these hats and I'm still not quite sure what to do with them because we just have so many. So I thought, these I intended for Derek's closet. <laughs> I didn't know Eunice had so many. They feel like they've multiplied since I was here last. I don't think we personally have space for these in this closet like this. So first, I'm gonna try doing it like this, maybe. We're just gonna see. Okay, we're gonna try this. Okay, that kind of works. We could also, since this one rolls up, we could put it here. And then we have the visor, we could even put on top. So let's see, I'm thinking these might be able to go at the end of the closet. Actually, since we have space, I'm gonna move these to down here. Now we can keep all this empty for the time being. Okay, now to kind of go through the drawers, because we still have a lot of loungewear stuff that's on the floor. That's what all of this is. So I want to see how well she's keeping these organized and what we could store away. Um, just kind of go through them and see where we're at. Some of these we could store away for winter. I don't think she'll be using those. We'll put them with the rest. This also looks super thick. She might want to see... I think these are workout leggings, so we'll leave those there for now. Uh, she has another bodysuit here, so we'll keep them together. That is a turtleneck, so we'll set that to the side. It's harder to fold these whenever they have bra pads in them, so we will be considerate of that. I think this is also winter, so we'll go ahead and store that away. You might be able to put all of this together. I'm not sure. She has so much loungewear that it might just make sense to try and get these together. Other than the bodysuits, we could fit everything. Uh, a little bit of space here. Okay, this might work. That works for now, so that would be all workout. And then, oops, that drawer would be empty for other stuff. Okay, I'm thinking we'll just add these with the bras. Okay, down here. So we have more loungewear. Now we can actually, I'm not going to show this part, but we can actually move back her underwear over here. So it's like bras, underwear, and socks. And then this might be like a whole set for loungewear. All right, so now this whole drawer is empty. Now we still have two piles of loungewear on the floor. That's the main thing. So I think it's gonna be best to just reorganize this. Things have gotten shuffled from what I can tell anyway. It's not really, it's kind of like all just thrown in there um, because this is where she added a lot of stuff that we didn't know about the sheet, the stuff that she thought she was going to declutter, but she brought back. I think it was mostly loungewear. So this is going to need a lot of help. I will start by folding this pile. Thank you. 
I'm also trying to go in line with how I already see these folded because I know that's already her system, how she's using this. So it makes sense to kind of lean into that because she is already comfortable doing that. those for now. That's pretty good, man. That saved a lot of space. Okay. What I'm thinking right now is first I'm just going to make like space for the patique, which you guys remember. I'm thinking we will make one section for patique down here. It is amazing how you can fold stuff and it makes so much more space. We still have a lot, but let's see. Okay, so this is empty. I'm just gonna grab it all out so it's easy to find. Yeah, okay. Girlfriend, I left the labels on here and things are not where they where they where they were left. Probably fit shorts here. Yeah. And mm. wearing petite done. I'm gonna take all of these out we can do because this one is still clear I'm gonna try and make it pretty with sets still one more thing I thought I would do for her is get the bags from up high they're a little out of her reach since we have space underneath her jackets and the dresses. I thought we could go ahead and just line the bags up there for now. Can you guys tell me if that's all? Did we get them? We're maximizing space. Yeah, I think the last thing we have to do is fix this wall and i actually now that we have the handbags gone these might be better up high actually because those are pretty easy to grab so let's try that too so we could put all of these up oh, i think i'm gonna go ahead and put these up high too maybe maybe we'll see doesn't it feel like a little bigger Oh yeah, those won't fall down as much as this here. Okay, let's have some fun and move this thing around and hopefully we'll find a better combo. The last, so we're finally almost done. We need some more for these. I don't like those there. I like it empty. <sighs> okay, maybe we can just slide these down with the other hats. We have one more. May as well put it to work. Okay, I can 
cannot emphasize enough how interesting of a fabric this is. Okay, so I put the hats up there. I think that works for those. So this is the last area. We might need some bins, something for this. This is for work. We will end up concluding this video tomorrow whenever I get the right tape. We'll put on the labels, we'll bring more bins, and then we will finally be done. The next day I am back and I'm going to very quickly finish this closet so that we can all take a deep breath and and just feel extremely satisfied with how far we have come on this journey and how many times my nails have changed over the course of this series. I'm just realizing that as I'm flashing my hands around, but I'm kind of digging this one. Um, I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that this morning I went to my secret spot where I get all of my organizers for the best price ever and they're just fabulous. I went there this morning and there were a hundred percent sold out of the organizers that we put up high. The ones that were where we store everything away where I mentioned we might want to put the costumes, the travel bags, things like that. They are gone. It's not going to change too much about today. We are still going to wrap it up. Just know we're going to be adding a few more boxes up high over the course of this series. It's not going to make much of a difference in the before and afters. Like you'll get the idea. But the other good news is that I did have the tape at home. I just brought the wrong one. I have all the clear tape. So we are going to label everything once and for all. This is a not sponsored segment of the video. I love recommending products that I really love and use all the time. Random things from Netflix shows to good books to my favorite skincare products or great home brands for cleaning your toilet. Those things that you typically would share with your friends over coffee. I've been wanting to share those things with you guys, but there's never always the perfect space to do that whenever you're decluttering and organizing a space. So I want to take a moment, a little break from decluttering and organizing and just share something I've been loving in my personal life that I think you guys would love too. If I love it and it's something I wanna share with my girlfriends, I wanna share with my audience too. The first thing that I wanna share, this is my Hulkin bag. I love these. This is how I get from project to project in the city. It's how I haul all of my organizers, my camera gear, especially for hauling a lot of groceries home from the farmer's market or my laundry going to laundry mat. I throw everything in here and I'm going to be very honest with you because this is not a sponsored segment. I think it is a little bit expensive, but I think ultimately it has helped save my back. And that is the most important thing to me. This medium size has this third strap, which I think is the best strap to pull it with. I did recently get a discount code for you guys. It is not a lot, but it's a little bit and a little bit helps. I will put it up here. I believe it's TSD five for 5% 5 off at checkout. I absolutely love my Hulkin bag. I just want to share it with you guys. And if you want to take advantage of the code, you can definitely do that. And I will leave the link down below as well as the code. So thank you for our first episode of things that we need a, we need a name for the segment. Okay. Back to decluttering. Let's get labeling. First up, we are going to do the little golf bags here. So we have gloves and socks. Oh, why am I turning it off? Next up we have sun protection. Then lastly, we have miscellaneous golf. Now for the incredibly satisfying moment. Yeah, look at that clear. It doesn't work for everybody, but if you just need like a gentle reminder, clear. Oh, that looks so good. Sun protection. Actually change these from the stackable ones. And I think this makes so much more sense for the way that Eunice organizes because if she has to remove the stack in this particular room, I think that she's less likely to put it back. In the skincare room, I think that's another story, but in here, I think it just makes more sense if she can dump out her bag or quickly grab whatever she needs for playing golf just out of here. Like this is so easy and it, it doesn't even have to stay super nice and organized in here. As long as it's contained, that helps. And she could put her bag here, you know, whatever she wants. So I really like that we changed to these. I think it makes a lot of sense. We're gonna rip all of these off. These were always just temporary, you know? Now what I'm gonna do is put them on this little lip inside the drawer so that you only notice them whenever you open it up. So here we have puff teaks. This is like tops. This is gonna get messy over time. I think 
that's fine. You know, as long as we mostly contain it and we even give her space to kind of grow and spread out, I think that will really work for her. Hopefully it will stay lasting. I'll give you guys a tour whenever we finish. Okay. Oh, that looks so cute. I have to show you. Look how good it oh, looks so good. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. I'll show you. See, dead lounge. That's actually going to be costume later. And then I will do these. These are more lady things, so I will do those privately. I also wanted to add while we do this that I showed her the handbags where I moved them to yesterday and she really liked it. She was like, oh, this is so much better. I love that they're lower. She's like, it was harder for me to grab them up there. She's like, this is so nice. Like it's super easy for me to, she was just, she was really excited about how low the handbags were, even though they're kind of cramped in as well as the hat. She loved where I put those yesterday and then the extra golf accessories and the robes. Like, she was just so satisfied with that. And I think it's really important to say that when you're organizing your closet, I know I'm just repeating myself all the time, but it's because until we all start believing it, it's not gonna be perfect the first time. You gotta keep trying things out to see if it works. If you don't try something out, you're never gonna know if it's gonna work. You never find the better solution if you're not constantly trying things out. So we tried to put it up high. It didn't work for us, so we relocate them down here, and now we know oh, this works so much better, this is perfect, this works for how she uses them. And then I realized, oh, we could put the hats up there, and she's like, that's perfect. She's like, I hardly ever grab for the hats, but I grab for the bags all the time. So this is just a memo to you, a reminder that it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. It's all just a big challenge and a big puzzle we're trying to solve, so you just have to get more creative in your approach. Top. I just forgot robes. I need a robe here and then a robe down there. And other than that, I think we're good. I already feel like I'm just breathing so much better in this space. Join me in our last label. Let's all just take a moment to really enjoy this. Let me give you a good, a good view. Everybody here? Three, two, one. Get it straight. We just got to clean up our giant mess and we are done. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I think we need to remember the old closet. Do you remember those white dressers that were just overflowing? All the drawers were broken. Is decluttered as much as she feels comfortable with now. And maybe over the next few months, over the next year, now that everything's out, maybe she'll slowly want to declutter more because she can see it and it's categorized. So she knows exactly how many of one thing she has that room before was just such a stressful experience to walk in there there was so much going on with all of the skincare and her closet and the dressers were all broken and they were just piling up with clutter golf was getting mixed in there like it was complete chaos but now everything has a space here even though i joke and i say i lack confidence in eunice i really think that she's going to be able to maintain this so much more. We have to be real. She's still a very messy person. I love you, Eunice, but she's still very messy. So it might get messy at times, but I don't think it's going to get so chaotic that it's going to completely stress her out anymore or that it's going to be out of control where she needs me to come in and do an entire overhaul. I think we've got it to a really good spot for her. Like I think this is 100% maintainable if she just puts in a little bit of effort. We are finally ending the clothing portion of stressed and overwhelmed by her closet but now we're moving over to the skincare even if you're not a skincare lover i think it's just very satisfying to get it all organized and put away which is what i'm most excited for and then we'll be moving on to her kitchen which we still have a lot of projects that we've got to do so i will see you back again for more of this Bye.
going to walk you through the room. We will start here with a dresser. This is kind of, we have all of her, we have sunglasses here. I think this works for her and it's, you know, Eunice is a little bit chaotic. So I think this plays to her sense of chaos a little bit and lets her have a little bit of freedom to throw things in there while still containing it. We have her, these are her perfumes. She did thin down on those. Some of her jewelry here. And then I'm so happy with how these turned out and how everything fits. Oh my gosh, you guys remember the white dresser she had before? Is this not just so much better? This is, this is really the moment we've all been waiting for. Okay, these are private, so I'm not gonna show those, but we do have all of her workout gear. And here we have golf gloves and socks kind of hidden by the robe, sun protection, golf things. Moving down the closet. Down here we have her skirts here. This moves to pants. And then down here we have her hats and all of her bags and extra robes down there. Here we have all of her jackets. Jackets, dresses, tops, some hats up there. We have golf, her robes, and extra hangers. And then up here, this is all the stuff that we're going to store away for right now. That's mostly off season. We can rotate later. On the other side of the closet, here we have all of the sweaters and kind of sweater jackets, sweatshirts. You know, you kind of wear sweatshirts year round. At least I do. And then this is all outerwear here. And I wanted to give it enough room to breathe because, you know, it's a nice thing to do for these coats. Over here, I love how the hat wall turned out. We have all of her bags. Everything that you see is everything that she has at this point. Golf, golf bag there. And then this guy she's using for work right now, but later we will put it in the costumes. Okay, one last question. Just if we should move this Dyson hairdryer to the bathroom instead of in here. I told her I didn't think it would be good to put it where there's a high moisture room, especially because in the bathrooms here, um, you know, they're wet baths typically. So I didn't think that'd be good for it, but I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think we should leave it out of the high moisture zone or do you think it would be okay in the bathroom?